they're taking matters into their own hands. And while they are trying to, of course, encourage and increase sympathy for their cause, it's now Hamas that's playing the victim. It's now Hamas that says, oh, stop bombing us, stop doing all this. And I'll be honest, it falls on deaf ears for me. It's like, wait a second, did you not launch an unprompted attack into civilian corridors, into homes and schools and nurseries on a holy day? So, you know, spare, spare me your caterwauling. You guys were the ones that launched this war. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. To be guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Kick. According to Charlie Kick, you like kicking people's ass. So that takes on students who accuse Israel of playing victim. Okay, let's get right into it. Given the current situation, the, the attacks on October 7th, um, I feel like the nation of Israel might have been, uh, have, has been doing that in sense of uh, referring to the attacks uh, as Israel's 9-11 while simultaneously funding Hamas. If this is Israel's 9-11, which we used our own 9-11 to fund decades of war to fill the pockets of military contractors, how do we look at what's going on right now and avoid making the same mistake? Yeah, yeah I, I, I get that question. So I, I want to make sure I'm, I'm very morally clear here. Um, sometimes you are a victim, right? If you get shot on the streets of L.A., you are a victim. The problem is we have a supply and demand problem with victimology in the West. We have a bunch of people that are incredibly blessed walking around acting like victims because mm. somebody said something that offended them. OK, so, of course, sometimes you are a victim. When you wake up on your holiest day and 1,500 of your fellow Jews are slaughtered, yeah, that you are the victim of terrorism. I'll just be very honest. Uh, and that's the equivalent of 50,000 Americans. So, and, and I will also say, though, that to Israel's credit, they're taking matters into their own hands. And while they are trying to, of course, encourage and increase sympathy for their cause, it's now Hamas that's playing the victim. Hmm. It's now Hamas that says, oh, stop bombing us, stop doing all this. And I'll be honest, it falls on deaf ears for me. It's like, wait a second, did you not launch an unprompted attack into civilian corridors, into True. homes and schools and nurseries on a holy day? So, you know, like, spare, spare me your caterwauling. You guys were the ones that launched this war, and war is nasty, war is awful, and they're saying they'll do it again. The Hamas leader comes out and he says, just a matter of time till every single day is October 7th. To your point, which I really resonate with, is that I'm not a neoconservative. I do not believe our foreign policy should be an instrument to remake foreign countries in a quote-unquote Western image. I think that the Iraq and the Afghanistan war teaches us that. And I think we need to be – that's why in my remarks I emphasize the border, what's happening in our own country. We need to balance what's happening in Israel, which is obviously important, but also understand that we have some serious problems here in this country. And I do not like when leaders focus more time, energy, and attention on foreign conflicts than our own. Okay, I think, uh, I'm not sure this is the full clip. I don't know why they're cutting this shot. So this was a very interesting video to watch. I love how Charlie answered this question. Uh, without being any hostile or rude or... Because sometimes all this um, Palestine-Israel um, stuff kind of like bring heated arguments. And I love how the entire speech was actually cool coordinated so the guy was asking why um israel play victims because a lot of them have been killed especially at october 7th a lot of people lose lost their father their mother their child so if you see them playing victim they, they ought to play victim because if you are in that if you are in that situation you too you feel like a victim so comment below what think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.